What's going on, guys? Um, Jacob Ober here. If you guys saw the game tonight, the Bucks versus the Celtics. Uh, yeah, that was a doozy, all right. Bucks blew a 19-point lead in the game. Um, and uh, before I talk about the Bucks actually blowing the lead, I really need to talk about the officiating in the game. Um, this is one of the most poorly officiated games I've seen in a long, long time. Honestly, like it was, I, I honestly cannot remember a, a game where our players got so few calls that they were completely shut off from the paint. Like the, the Bucks wouldn't even go in the paint tonight, especially in the second half, because they would just call everything on the Bucks. They would call them for an offensive foul. They would let the Celtics get away with everything physically that they wanted to, especially on Giannis. And honestly, it's summed up perfectly by one play. Late in the game, game might have been out of reach at that point, but Marcus Smart and Giannis got tangled up. Smart kind of pile drives himself into Giannis. Giannis throws his hands up. He's not doing a single thing and they both fall to the ground. He's literally shoved into the ground. Marcus Smart uses his upper body to shove Giannis into the ground, and they call it a loose ball fall, a loose ball foul on Giannis. That that was one of the truly worst calls I have seen in the NBA, and I have seen a whole lot of terrible foul calls. This was an embarrassment. I'm almost kind of glad it happened on national TV so that more people could see it. Nothing will change. Hope I, I, I seriously doubt anything's going to change. I don't know what the league is going to do going forward about the way they officiate Giannis, but it's bad right now. It's truly bad. And it literally, you could make the argument that it lost the game for the Bucks tonight because they just couldn't do anything. Once their outside shots started missing and... Yes, they need to make more of those. They they completely went cold in the second half. Yes, but they were almost they were forced to take almost entirely outside shots in the second half because there was just nothing they could do in the paint. And people might chalk it up to good defense by the Celtics, but in reality they were just hacking the crap out of guys and were getting away with it. And anytime Giannis especially, he post up on Marcus Smart. And Giannis being as big as he is, Marcus Smart literally just flops every play. He just fall the fuck down, and they would give the call to Smart. They, it's so obvious. Marcus Smart has a reputation for being a player who tries to, you know, egg on other players and and uh, you know, get BS calls and whatnot. And he's a guy who flops, has an extreme reputation for flopping, and they don't do a single thing about it. They they just don't do anything about it. They just let him get away with it. And that's the advantage of playing in a Boston sports stadium or arena. They, I, and I, I truly mean this. I, Boston sports, man, I've never seen a collection of sports teams get the kinds of calls at home that Boston does. You see it with the Patriots. You see it with the Celtics. Uh, I don't watch enough Red game, Red Sox games to know if they get it there. I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's baseball. It's a little bit different. But Celtics and Patriots especially... My God, dude. Like, they, they just get every single call at that stadium. It is just unbelievable. But moving on to the Bucks themselves that they need to do better, I mean, they kind of just got punched in the mouth in the second half. And, you know, it was kind of a double punch because of the refs. And, you know, I'm still not entirely sure that the uh, blown lead was 100% on them because the officials kind of shut them off from the paint. And it was honestly embarrassing, you know, to watch that and really... Yeah, for the officials especially, I mean, God, I, I just can't believe that. I mean, like, they called the game so poorly that they shut an entire team off of going into the paint or even getting to the paint. But uh, talking about the Bucks, I mean, they got to hit more outside shots, man. And that that's the one cure to this problem. The 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 Celtics were giving the Bucks some outside shots. They were giving them up in the second half. The Bucks couldn't hit them. They were, what, 2 of 20 from 3 in the second half? I mean, you just can't do that and expect to win basketball games as much as I want to say that the refs were a huge reason why we lost and they certainly were but you know if you, if you hit more outside shots this is an entirely different basketball game we're talking about too but um I mean I, I'm kind of sick of um 
current lineups we're throwing out off the bench. Uh, you know, and, and that, that's not to say that I don't like some of the guys we got, but I want us to mix, mix it up a little bit. I want to see more of Dante DiVincenzo and less of Wesley Matthews and less of, uh, less of, uh, shit, I, I don't know who to take out. I mean, Corver has played pretty good. Uh, but still, I want to see Sterling Brown. I want to see Dante DiVincenzo. I want to see DJ Wilson. These guys were, you know, I mean, yeah, Dante was injured last year, but Sterling Brown was good down the stretch for the Bucks last year. He was a key contributor. And, I mean, DJ Wilson certainly had his, uh, had a hand in a few wins for the Bucks last season as well. I mean, these are some high-energy young guys you can bring off off the bench. Why are they not playing any minutes at all? Like, I mean, they're a spark of energy, you know? They're guys who can shift momentum of the game. And I saw the way DiVincenzo played in the preseason. Why is this guy not getting more playing time? DJ Wilson, too. I mean, the, that DJ Wilson's a really good defender, you know? And he can he can step outside and hit threes, too. I mean, it's just... I, I feel like the Bucks are kind of getting a little bit stale right now. And in order to mix it up, they should start using some different guys, you know. And hopefully we see that on Friday against the uh against the Magic. Hopefully they that boot hopefully Budenholzer gives these guys a chance, you know. I mean, it's like we we all saw how good Dante was was in the um was in the preseason. We all saw how good Sterling Brown was at the end of last season and DJ Wilson in uh, sparing minutes last year. Give these guys a shot, man. I mean, it's not that I think that uh, Kyle Korver is playing bad or Pat Connaughton's playing bad, and Connaughton and Korver have actually played really, really good so far for us, but, I mean, I don't know. It just mix it up a little bit, you know? I'm, I don't know, man. I This is a, this is a pretty... This loss doesn't feel good because it's against Boston. I hate Boston sports, and I feel like the refs really, really gave them a big hand in this game. And, you know, it's just it's going to be hard to kind of get over this one. Hopefully we can move on as quickly as possible. And we are only four games into the season after all. But still, you know, I mean, we're in the running with these teams, you know. I mean, this is these are the teams we have to beat if we want to win the Eastern Conference this year. So, I mean... Anyways, you know, hopefully we can figure it out, and hopefully Budenholzer, you know, is knows that things like this are going to happen. I'm sure he does, and, you know, games like this are going to happen. It's just kind of discouraging that uh, that this happened twice at the beginning of the year, blowing big leads, you know. And that, I guess that kind of shows, you know, the Bucks are right there. I mean, they, they've got it. They, they're right there. They're able to have big leads against these teams. It's just finishing them off that's the problem right now, so... Uh, hopefully we can address that and keep up the intensity in the second halves of games and stuff. You know, we always get out to big leads, and this happened a little bit, at, a little bit last year as well. We blew a there was a few games where we kind of got complacent and blew games, but um, right now I just want the team to be focused and I want the team to understand that you can't just lay off the gas when you have a a, a fifteen point lead because in the NBA that's truly nothing. That's that's nothing. So. Um, but anyways, guys, though, so thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I want to know what you guys thought about this game, uh, how the officials impacted it, how the Bucks themselves blew this lead. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, it is snowing out, and it is October 30th, guys. October 30th, and it's snowing. You guys see that? I, you can't really see the snow coming down, but you see that you see it on the car, and it's it sucks. But um, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Go Bucks.